Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with a special package from a great um, YouTuber called 1MSX to go and a um, really good pal. So, um, as is normal standards, we have the outer package and the inner package, which I can take out, it's got nothing written on it, and he's given a note. So, hi Tony, many thanks for another great trade. Sorry for the delay to make up, I've included a couple of Brucey bonuses. I really wasn't concerned about the delay. <laughs> um, should you already have, feel free to use if have the dot dot dots. Feel free to use them in a future trade. Best regards, John Richard, one MSX to go. Um, and, um, John and I have done an, a um, a number of really good trades, sending each other various things. He's another really passionate MSX user and um, collector of retro computers as well. And he always seems to find some very interesting stuff to send me. I have sent him a package recently. Um, he may have it soon, depending on how the post ferries go. Now we've got a couple of very interesting parcels here. Okay. Looks like the first one is a PlayStation title. Okay, and I don't, I mean, um, although they have increased lately, I don't have a lot of PlayStation 1 titles. We have Lemmings, which is supposed to be a really good game. And it's um, complete. And look, look, he's even gone to really good thing of putting uh, bubble wrap inside the thing, so it keeps the disc all nice. Another good thing about trading with Johnny is also, you know, he's in Europe and a power region, so um, don't have any worries about things working. Because so, my PlayStation 1 isn't chipped and neither is my PlayStation 2. Now another game, I haven't played this one before. Hurdy Gurdy, I have heard about this one. It's supposed to be a very nice platformer like, um, a bit in the likes of Banjo. Uh, not Banjo, because it be, uh, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I do that every time. Um, and it's complete as well, in really good condition. I think John is um, well, you know, changing priorities in his collection of the things he wants to collect. So he sent me a couple of items. Now we have what looks to be, oh my goodness, they're actual MSX cartridges. So we have the MSX cartridge Battle Cross. That looks really interesting. Look at that nice, good quality in some of the MSX carts. So it's got a proper metal uh, protector down there. Uh, good solid carts. Don't actually have very many cartridges for the MSX. I could never afford them when I was younger. So I mostly bought, um, you know, tape games and stuff that was on special. And I worked in a shop, so. And a game that I have played before, and it's a great little game, is the picture. It's Crazy Train. That's right, yeah, John's, I mean, he's still collecting MSX. What he's done is he managed to get boxed copies of these. So he sent me his loose ones. I really appreciate these because MSX titles are hard to get and worth a lot of money. So, um, yes. <laughs> Naughty John. All right, and there's another title. And it's another title for the Sega Saturn, and it's a nice. I like these plastic cases better than the Manx TT Superbike. I do actually quite like the um, bike racing games. That is in really good condition. I like these plastic cases better than the horrible cardboard ones that we get when I mean, they're thick cardboard, but they're still cardboard. Look at that, it's in really good condition. Put in some thing to protect the disc and have great fun playing that. So, once again, John, thank you very much for doing the trade. Hope you enjoy my items. Um, uh, oh, yes, I'll have to wait until John's um, to get his package and he can do, tell you what's in his. 
All right, um, and make sure you check John out, check his channel out. He did some really good video. Um, well, he, he did the A to Z challenge. Uh, very well done doing that, and it was very entertaining. But also recently he did uh, a couple of videos showing every single model MSX1 and MSX2. So for those of you who aren't that familiar with MSX, check those videos out. They're well worth watching to see the great variety that are in the, um, you know, the platform that we both love. All right, thank you once again, John, and we'll go do some gameplays. Here we go with Crazy Train on the MSX. Uh, it's a Sony cartridge. Oops. Need a bit of sound. Now, I'll take it, I've got to pick the people up. Um, and it's a slide puzzle. Right, okay, yep, pick the people up. Uh, this requires planning on my behalf. You've got to get all the people. I think I'm right for a little bit, and obviously when you get the people, it gets rid of that edge a bit, so you can't go back there again. So as soon as we do... Ooh, a bit disconcerting. Oops, oh, and there's a black train that you've got to keep them away from as well. Oh dear, and I'm going to die straight away. Oh. So I've got a countdown for the last one there. There we go, I did it. Lost a life though, so. Yeah. Not a bad little game. Let's try the next one. Here we go with Battlecross and Sony. Go straight into it. So, we've got a ship. Oops. So shoot the green things. Ooh, I'm going to pass me that time. You shoot them when they're coming towards you. Oop, I've got some rocks. And of course I've got and the rocks. Watch that. Makes it fairly frantic. I don't believe I've ever played this one before. There we go. And then we're going to another level and the enemies are a different colour. I've got a red splotch up the top there too. Oops, got me. Ooh. And listen to have gotten quicker. Still not sure why you can go that way. Collision detection is a bit off. Still going. So it's definitely a very different sort of shoot 'em up game. Oh, well, very good. A couple of very nice additions, and it's nice to be able to demo some MSX software. So, all right. We'll move on to some of the others. Mang TT Superbike. Just said, well, here's Manx TT Superbike. Nice something soundtrack as normal.
satin most certainly does have good quality sound. Please select the port. Let's go for arcade. Please select manual or automatic management. Oh, we better go for automatic, I suppose. Now, let's see how I go. Obviously not that button. Right, middle button accelerates. I'm not here to change the perspective, but anyway. This is reasonably forgiving on me running into things. Until I get used to the controls at least. Oh, oversteer there. Reasonably forgiving Good for a beginner like me. Ah, I'm oversteering too much. <laughs> they got to eight, all of a sudden. Sorry there's not much commentary, but I'm trying to at least do a little better for you. Position or two. Ah, lost all musicians again. That's where they get me every time. Oh, barely. for this time. Well there we go. I did better than I expected. I'm well that one's got... Yeah, exactly. Um, that's actually got quite a nice feel to it. Um, I quite like that one. Alright, let's try it the next game. Here we go with Hurdy Gurdy. 
I'm going to play this game before, but I think I've seen a video by somebody online. So it's by EDOS, the same people who did Tomb Raider. Okay, we'll skip the um, scenes, otherwise we'll go too long. by myself and I'm only 12. I bet when I'm as old as your dad, I'll be the greatest shepherd that ever lived. Hey, where is he? He's cutting things a bit fine, isn't he? I can't wake him up. He won't get up. Jeez, didn't I just... Okay then, head over to that spot and you'll... You can do that at any time using your map. So, that's our map. So, basic premises. Find bells. can fall in the water. Alright, so that's our house where we started. Also, a bit of loading with this game. It's not bad graphically low, though. It looks quite interesting. Mine's been a little bit of, um, you know, maybe Donkey Kong 64 or uh, Banjo Kazooie. simple what we had to do then just basically navigate grab some bells and um, progress along so you know looks like quite a good game um, what I might do because this is probably going to take a bit too long I'll, um, I'll go skip on to the next game and have a bigger play later
Now, unfortunately, the sound's not working at this, so it's perhaps a game that I need to use my um, PS2 on. Um, but anyway, uh, good fun game. Sorry, my PS1. Yeah, so uh, very colourful, I will say. So you've basically got to work out how to use the Lemmings' various abilities and um, make them all get out the escape tunnel. Very colourful, quite a good game, good fun puzzle game, a bit like um, an evolution of Load Runner, I suppose, in some sort of a way. But I'd say the sound's not working because I need to play it on my PS1. Excellent game, welcome addition to the collection.